Hi guys, so in this video we are going to graph modulus functions and there's two types we need to graph. It's f of mod f of x and f, well y equals f of mod x. So notice the difference there is mod f of x and f of mod x. Now mod is obviously short for modulus. Now what does modulus mean? Well, hopefully you've seen this before, but the mod of negative 5 or the modulus of negative 5 is sometimes called the absolute value of negative 5 and mod of negative 5 is 5. It's kind of like the what is the size of it. So the size of this is negative. Or it's just the size of negative 5 is 5. Think of it like your speed. If you're if you are reversing, your velocity is negative, whatever, 50 kilometers per hour. But your speed is 50 kilometers per hour. So the modulus of the velocity. Anyway, um, we're going to we're going to draw these graphs. Now, first I'll do it without a calculator, and then we'll do it with a calculator. I'm going to use this example, this quadratic that hopefully we're somewhat familiar with, and we can draw. Uh, I'm, we're going to use this as f of x, and then we'll draw these two. So, um, firstly, I should have put in y here and x here. I guess I should do it for them all: x and y, x and y. Now. How do I draw this function? Well, this is not the main part of the lesson. Hopefully you know how to do this. The factors of this are x minus 2 times x plus 1, which means it has roots at negative 1, negative 1, and 2, so and a y-intercept at negative 2. So this comes down here. Now, the y-intercept is not the minimum. Just be careful. The minimum would be at... Well, 0 0.5 halfway between the two but that is negative two okay so we, if we want to draw the mod of f of x the modulus of this well what happens is the what this means is there cannot be negative y values because we're in this mod sign so whatever we put into f the value we get out has to be positive so these negative values which are the values underneath the x-axis become positive. The negative 2 becomes 2. Whatever this value here is, it's negative, becomes positive. This minimum becomes positive here. And now hopefully you'll see what's happening is it's actually a reflection. The negative part gets reflected in the x-axis. So that's the first kind of key point that I want you to learn from this lesson. Now, the positive part just stays the same. So this is still it's still going to have a root at negative 1. It's going to have another root at 2. So these positive bits stay the same. It still comes down here. It still goes up there. But now instead of going underneath the line, these become positive. And it gets reflected in the x-axis. So I'm actually going to write that. Well, this is, this is now two. Um, I'm going to write that down. I'm going to say reflect, reflect, negative y values in x axis. Okay, fine. Next part is slightly more tricky. It's f of mod x. Now what that means is What's going to happen is, well, firstly, all the positive values. So imagine I do f of, if I do f of mod 5, well, that's just the same as f of 5. So all the positive x, x values that go from here to here, they're going to be exactly the same. So I'm still going to have a root at 2 here. This is still going to come down like this. This is still going to turn. Um, hang on, let me try and draw this properly. It's still going to turn here and go go up there to two. So this is at two, and it would normally just continue on to one. This isn't a perfect drawing, but whatever. So let's say this is this is negative two. Okay, but what happens to these to these negative values? Well. What happens is if I put in if I put in 
let's say, well, let's do negative, well, let's do negative five. If I put in negative five into f of mod x, what I get is the same value as f of five. So all these negative x's behave exactly like the positive x's. So you end up with, instead of getting instead of getting f of negative one, you get a y value the same as f of one. Instead of getting f of negative five, you get a y value of f of five. And what that what happens is it becomes a ref, these these negative x's become behave this exact same as the positive x's and it ends up being a reflection. Let me try and draw that. Okay, that's not too bad. It becomes a reflection in the y-axis. So uh, again, what I'm, I'm going to write here, um, draw, so reflect the negative y values in the x-axis. Here, draw um, and draw graph for positive x's for positive x values and then reflect reflect in y axis okay so hopefully that makes sense there's basically two different ones and this is what you do you ref for for the mod of f of x you get the negative y values and you reflect them in the x axis like this for the f of mod x, you draw the positive x first, so anything to the right of the y-axis, because they behave normally, and then you get that, and just whatever you have reflected in the y-axis like this. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. In the next lesson, I am going to be using these graphs to solve equations with mod functions in them. Okay, I almost forgot, I wanted to graph these with the calculator. So let's bring this here. Let's go into our graph. Now, at, at this point here, I am going to put, so let's first do uh, mod, mod f of x. So I need to, to get my modulus signs, which are here. I click this, this button beside the nine. I have them right there. Be careful, I have seen, there's a, see this little line here? This, this is not a mod sign, so just be careful there, right? We need to use uh, this one here. And then inside it, we're gonna put x squared minus x minus two. x squared minus x minus two. And there you go. That is the graph. That is the graph that I drew here. Not quite as well as a calculator, but close enough. And the second one, the second one, let's do, let's press tab. We'll do it. We can do it on the same, on the same set of axes. I want to do f of mod x. Okay, so now I need to just put the mod in the x's. So what that actually looks like is this. I do mod x, so it's mod x squared, the squared is outside the modulus, mod x squared minus mod x, and then minus 2. And then I press enter, and this, yeah, look, this is not exactly like my one, but again, close enough. We have the 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 same the same values for the positive, the positive x values. Because if I drew, well, let me draw the other one. Well, let me draw the original. Um, x. Hang on. X squared. Do that again. X squared minus x minus 2. So you see we have the, the, the 
the red graph follows the graph for the, the black graph for the positive values and then it just kind of well it reflects in the y-axis okay um yeah next lesson we'll be solving equations